Risotto is one of the most versatile and delicious dishes that you can learn to make. It can be an entree, it can be a side dish, it can be a second course. And the incredible thing about it is, it's like a blank canvas. It absorbs any flavors that you put with it and returns them in this beautiful, creamy dish. It's a little bit of a labor of love, so let me show you how I make wild mushroom risotto. Risotto always begins with arborio, which is an Italian short grain rice that is very starchy and creamy. I'm gonna use shiitake mushrooms today. You can use any mushrooms you like. You can use cremini, portobello, white button, whatever you'd like. And I'm just gonna give them a rough chop after I take out the stems. I like them kind of big uh, so that I can see them in the texture of the risotto. I'm also gonna peel and chop in my vegetable chopper two shallots. I'm gonna use chicken stock today to make our risotto. So I'm gonna keep three cups of chicken stock warm in a separate saucepan. In a heavy bottom Dutch oven, I'm gonna melt four tablespoons of butter. And to that, I'm gonna add my shallot and two cloves of garlic and just cook it gently. All of this is gonna be done over low to medium low heat. This is not something that we're gonna do over high or medium high heat. After a couple of minutes, I'm gonna add my mushrooms and allow those to cook for two to three minutes as well until they're just tender. Once the mushrooms are tender, I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of butter, let that melt, and then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of dry sherry. You could also use Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc. And to that, I'm gonna add one cup of Arborio rice, and I'm gonna stir that until it's well coated with all of the butter and the sherry, because this is how we're gonna start to build the flavors into the Arborio. It's gonna start to absorb all of these flavors. Once that's cooked for about a minute, I'm gonna come and add one cup of my hot chicken stock into this. The process of making risotto is just the process of adding a little bit of liquid, the hot chicken stock, and letting that soak up into the rice. As it does, the, it'll soak the moisture up into the rice and return some of its starch back into the broth and just make it creamy. So the process is just, for about 30 minutes, you're gonna add a half cup of stock and let that absorb for about four or five minutes and then add another half cup of stock and let that absorb. And you're gonna do that cycle like four or five times Times until the rice is the right doneness for you or you're out of chicken stock. So just follow this process of adding stock and letting it cook for four or five minutes until the rice gets to the doneness that you like and then stop. It's okay if you have stock left over at the end and then it gets to this beautiful creaminess and to this I add a half cup of freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and stir that in well and then I add about three tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of heavy cream and it just gives it this silky beautiful texture. You're gonna love this dish. It's one of my favorites and it's so versatile and so delicious. There's nothing like creamy risotto. And then this is what you're left with. Beautiful, so good. Side dish, second course entree, risotto. So creamy, so beautiful, so versatile, so delicious.